jag tror det är bättre. Anna, this kitchen is a tip. I thought we agreed that you'd do all the housework and I'd, you know, not. Shh. Busy. No, you're not. You're just watching that boring Dutch show again. First of all, the show's Swedish. Secondly, Stick Ninja is not boring. It's a taut psychological drama about weird sex murders. My favourite kind of murders. I think you might be addicted. Just because I watched 26 episodes in three days and briefly considered buying a catheter does not mean I'm addicted. Well, either way, this place is falling apart. There weren't even enough clean cups. Is that my gymnastics trophy? Yeah. Couldn't use it on my own, could I? Because I don't have any. But thanks for rubbing that in. Who's it? It's that dude from downstairs. Shit, what did you do? What do you mean? I've made a real effort not to engage with any of the neighbours in case they turn out to be mental or ask for favours. He must be here to tell us off. Well, I haven't done anything. I mean, I did start leaving food down by the communal bins, but that was just to attract foxes. Guys, I can hear everything you're saying. I'm not going to tell you off. What can we do for you, neighbour? Hi, Gavin, flat 28. Look, I'm sorry to bother you guys, but I've uh, got to ask a favour. See what I mean? Never engage with these people. No offence, Gav. It's just that I'm, I'm dashing off to the airport and I really need someone to feed my fish while I'm away. Gavin, it would be an honour to feed your fish. They're like my fifth favourite animal, after elk, all birds, Pokemon, and, of course, humans. Cheers, mate. You're a lifesaver. Come on! What are neighbours for? Now, let's talk payment. My girlfriend was meant to be watching them, but we had a huge bust up this morning just because she called me sending dick pics to a yoga instructor. <gasps> Women, eh? Can't live with them, can't cheat on them. Yeah, he'll be all right. Just sling us some perfume from Duty Free. That usually smooths things over. Thing is, I couldn't miss this business trip. It's representing the firm I have in Dubai. My mate Pete was meant to go, but then the prick got at me, and I was like, sorry, pal, you snooze, you lose. Kevin, this place is incredible! It's like the Batcave had a kid with a Playboy mansion. Cheers, mate. Cost me a bomb. Oh, check it out! And who do we have here? Oh, oh, a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Bond. I'm the beautiful vagina type. Oh, okay, easy there, Danny. Those are one off 50th anniversary figurines. <sighs> Seriously, with all this cool stuff, you must be happy the entire time. Well, it doesn't hurt. But these little ladies, them are pride and joy. Snowball antlers, the Ferraris of the sea, come all the way from Rio Negro, Venezuela. You gotta replicate the environment to the dot just to keep them alive. The right pH, good algae levels. If the temperature changes just two degrees, then, uh. Damn, mate, you listening? Yeah, I'm with you. Cool. Now, sitting in the hydrometer can be a little fiddly, so, uh, do you wanna come take a look? Yeah. But, FYI, this chair is sort of giving me an erection. Just a heads up. <laughs> Come on, Bjorn. Don't go into the abattoir, you twat! Whoa! Oh, for... You all right? You took one hell of a tumble oh, there. My fucking burrito. I mean, what kind of idiot leaves a bin in the middle of the street? Easy, Miss Burrito. You've got to be more careful when you're on your phone. Me cousin Austin and I am crossing the road and texting at the same time. She was looking for the thumbs up emoji and a motorbike wiped her out. It's kind of ironic. Well, I wasn't texting. I was watching Stick Ninja. What's that? Oh, my God, you've never heard of it? It's this gruesome Swedish drama about this girl who gets murdered and her family grief counsellor might be the serial killer. Hey, listen, I was just about to take a break from busking. Let me buy you a replacement lunch. You can tell me all about it. Mm, maybe. What kind of busker are you? I mean, like, aspiring musician or recently homeless? <laughs> aspiring musician. In that case, that sounds nice. I'm Hannah. I'm Bryn. Bryn? No, no, it's, uh, it's Bryn. Bryn. Sorry, I don't know if it's because of your accent or because I recently fell over, but I cannot understand what you're saying. It's Bryn. Hmm. Don't worry about it, Miss Breather. Come on. Bryn? No, it's Bryn. So me and him had lunch, and he's, like, maybe the coolest guy ever. Seriously, he's got tattoos, he used to be in a band, and all of the clothes he wears are either way too baggy or way too tight. Doesn't sound like a usual type. What do you mean, my usual type? You know, not weirdos, just really weird guys. Like, uh... That one who insisted on watching Stomp twice a week? All those whack job twins who pretended to be one person? Sam and Scott were actually a really nice guy, OK? Look, all that matters is that Bryn is fit and a musician and super into me. He even invited me to an open mic gig he's doing tonight. Cool, well, if it works out, then maybe you could give me a guitar lesson sometime. Are you sure Gavin said you could use his place whenever you want? Yeah. I mean, he didn't literally say those words, but that's what he implied. What did he say? Here are the keys. I'll see you in ten days. I'm just reading in between the lines. Plus, this is the only way I can properly protect those fish. 
Sort of a 24-7 fish bodyguard. That's absolutely not a thing. Hannah, look at this place. I'd be an idiot not to abuse it. There's even a jacuzzi in the bathroom. Well, at least you're fucking up this guy's flat instead of ours. I'm not going to fuck this place up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need some more jacuzzi. <laughs> fuck, this is so cool. I'm meeting a cute guy for a day at an open mic night. I'm finally making the most of my 20s. That's the same thing you said the first time you tried salted caramel. Where did you get that jacket from? Oh, Gavin's wardrobe. That thing is way too small. I know, but it looks wicked. Plus, I found 25 quid in the pocket and a bunch of these sweet-ass business cards. Gavin Mokai, associate solicitor. Miss Burrito, glad you made it. <laughs> Who's your man? I'm Gavin. This is my brother, Gavin. I sort of brought him along as protection. Protection? Basically, I ended up watching, like, 12 more episodes of that show today. I mean, it's great, but it seriously fucks with your head. I got worried you might turn out to be a psycho cannibal pervert like Dr. Holmfist. Well, I have done some pretty wild shit in the past, but I promise I won't kill you and eat you. That is all I needed to hear. In which case, I'm gonna head to the bar and buy 25 pounds worth of Pringles. You kids have fun. Gavin seems nice. Gavin's an idiot. Nice. You, uh, you ride a crotch rocket. What's that? Just say, man, sweet bike jacket. You seen the new Ducati? Those things are absolute beasts. God, yeah, the Ducati. It's like riding a big dick with wheels. Still, though, nothing like hopping on, getting the adrenaline going after 10 hours glued to the fucking footsie, right? <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Gavin Mulcahy, associate solicitor. Oh, Parker Osborne. I'm with HR Schrader. I think we work with you guys in the RBK flow station? Oh, yeah, of course. I did not think that thing was going to float, but, you know, when it did, I was over the moon. Listen, let me get you a drink, Gavin. You've, uh, you've earned it, mate. Yeah. I have earned it. Liquid larceny drips from the slavering jaws as the flowers stare blankly and say nothing. Fucking hell. I feel like my heart's having a heart attack. I feel that. Wow. Oh, I'm just sweating through your beanie, too. You sure you don't want something to drink? I really shouldn't. I'm just not used to gigging without the rest of Wolf's dude. What's Wolf, dude? Well, that's my old band. How come you left? Well, the lifestyle was killing me. You go to a new town, booze all day, play the gig, do a bunch of coke, shag someone, snort some heroin so you can get a bit of kip in the van, and then pff, rinse and repeat. Wow, that is some seriously cool rock and roll shit. Trust me, Bryn, you're going to be fine tonight. You think so? I uh, definitely. Everyone else here is just some pathetic wannabe. You've been there, done that, got the T-shirt, sold the T-shirt to buy more heroin. You're going to be great. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Before I start, I'd like to dedicate my set to a very special lady, Miss Burrito. That's me. Hi, Miss Burrito. Oh, God, my savior, my rock, my stand on hallowed ground. You opened my eyes and raised me up. Yes, I believe in Jesus. And I'm like, whoa, 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 judge. <laughs> How can my client have done those murders if I was on the yacht with him the whole time? Yeah. Then the judge just says, Gavin, mate. You are the best lawman I have ever seen. This trial is over. And I shit you not, he high-fives me. The whole place goes apeshit. Wow. I didn't even know commercial solicitors dealt with murder trials. The good ones do. Yeah. By the way, guys, if any of you ever get accused of murder, don't worry, I'll sort you out. Mates rates. Cheers, uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, all right. That was a bit rough. No, they, they just didn't get it. To be honest, I sort of didn't get it. You did keep mentioning God. Are you seriously a Christian? Well, I've only been at it for three months, but yeah, I am. I thought you knew. I mean, didn't you notice, like, all this? Yeah, I just assumed it was, like, dumb Russell Brand stuff. No offence, but you seem way too cool. You're fit and you swear and stuff. It's not weird for you, is it? No, no, come on. Christianity's like the vanilla of beliefs. You can still go out with girls, though, right? Well, I'm only up as far as Corinthians. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's fine. In that case, do you want to go grab a froyo? I mean, if your god allows it. Good evening. 
Brin, if you don't pay attention, you're not going to see what they find inside the girls' cavity. Sorry. It's Paxton. He plays bass in Wolf's dude. He won't stop texting me. He keeps begging me to rejoin. What, and you told him no? I'd love to go back. But I'd only end up getting in trouble again. That whole scene is bad fucking news. From now on, the only drug I need is God's love. And methadone. Tell him you're too busy watching Scandinavian people get murdered with your awesome girlfriend. Anyways, I better make moves. I've got a Bible study meeting at four. Bryn, that's my favourite Christian. Yeah, good man. Cocktail party, my place, tonight. Get your holy ass down there. <laughs> cool. Cheers, Gavin. I'll call you later, Miss Burrito. What do you want, Dan? Why aren't you down at Gavin's place? I just came to give you an invitation. Having a little soiree at mine tonight. Dan, you can't just throw a party at this guy's flat. Why not? You're abusing his trust and it's totally out of order. And is there genuinely a free bar? Yeah, found the keys to his drinks cabinet and four of his watches. Dan, you're turning into the shit, Mr Ripley, and it's getting kind of creepy. It is not getting creepy. Who's up with some Gavantinis? Cheers, Gaffster. Hey! It's the happy couple. What's all this about? Just thought I'd make a bit of an effort, you know, for the party. I think it's a sharp look. Thanks, Bryn. Can I get you something to drink? I've made my very own special cocktail for tonight. It's vodka mixed with rum with a splash of wine just for flavour. Oh, I'm sort of off the booze. Don't worry, dude, there is some OG in the kitchen. You know, out of all the losers you've been out with, I think Bryn is definitely my favourite. Yeah, he's really great. We spent all week together. The only thing is, we haven't, you know, taken it to Pound Town. What? Yeah, well, we kiss and stuff, but every time we get near the main attraction, he just calls it off. Oh. I'm really scared he might be hiding a misshapen penis or something. Mm. Well, I believe it was Jean-Jacques Rousseau who said, patience is bitter, but it's fruit is sweet. Gavin's got a book of quotations in his bathroom. I've been having a flip through in the jacuzzi. Hey, maybe this Gavin thing isn't so terrible. I mean, you're reading books, you're dressing better, and those fake glasses are actually all right. Oh, they're not fake. Yeah, they're real. Found them in his bedroom. To be honest with you, this whole place is a blur. <laughs> Sorry. Mum, you made it. Your message said it was a dire emergency. Oh, yeah. No, that was just a lie. Good Lord, Hannah, you haven't called me here for nothing. I had to cancel a Thai massage. I could be dripping in essential oils as we speak. I didn't call you here for nothing. I want you to meet my new boyfriend. Hey, this is my mum. I was just telling her how great you are. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Brim. Brun? Did you say his name was Brun? Hey, mum! What are you doing here? Why are you dressed like... Actually, I don't care. Could you get me a vodka and anything? Ah, uh, we're actually running a bit low on vodka. I used it all in the Gaventinis. Well, I can fix you something. On tour, we used to run out of booze all the time. I can make something to get you hammered on pretty much just cranberry juice and Listerine. Well, Hannah, maybe this one isn't a total write-off. Come on, Brun. Come fix me a proper drink. I count that as a win. Now, these fish are very exotic. All the way from somewhere very exotic. I want to say Africa, but they're very delicate, like an uh, underwater croissant. If the temperature changes even two degrees, then they will explode. That's how come they're so rare. I think we should uh, slow down. Oh, come on, Brent, don't give me blue balls. I've had three Gaventinis and I'm feeling mega horny. Let's just call it a night. What, again? Why don't you want to have sex? Have you got a misshapen penis? Hmm? What is it? Crooked? Upside down? Super thin? Well, no, my penis is fine. If anything, it's great. I just think we should hold off. I mean, God is pretty strict on the sex stuff. But does not it say in the good book, do unto others... So come on, Brent. Do unto me. OK, Miss Verito, I'll be honest with you. The only reason I don't want to do it is because I just found out I got into Bible college. So what? That sounds like fun. Well, not fun, but you know what I mean. Well, the thing is, is that it's actually a two-year course and, uh, it's in Inverness. What? You're moving to Scotland for two years? Why would anyone do that? I mean, what about us? We can still see each other. It's only nine hours on the train. Nine hours on the train? Do I look like a fucking Victorian? Look. I think this could be really good for me. I've done some shit I'm not proud of. You know, one-night stands, drug-fueled orgies. I shagged me Rody's wife in a phone box in Carlisle. Really? Yeah. Poor beast. Guy had no idea. 
Listen, let's just talk about this later, yeah? Why don't you pop on another episode of that show? I'll make you some coffee. So I'll be up a bit. You in this round, God. Speech! 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 Just want to say thank you all so much for coming tonight. Now, I, Gavin Mulcahy, have so much to be thankful for in life. Yeah, an amazing flat, 3D television, and shit hot fish. <laughs> but life's not about possessions, even if they are fucking cool. So here's to you guys, the people who make this all worthwhile. Cheers, Gavin. Oh, oh, I'm Gavin Mulcahy. I'm Gavin Mulcahy. This is so unfair. I finally get the perfect boyfriend, and God goes and snatches him away. Shit. Bryn's dead. No. I think our relationship might be. He's going to study the Bible for two years. I mean, how can it take two years to read one book? But you guys were so good together. I even came up with your celebrity couple nickname, Bryn Hannah. I mean, he just said both our names, but yeah. He's pretty much my dream guy. He's hot, he's dumb, so he never contradicts me, and apparently there's nothing wrong with his penis. I just wish there was something I could do to make him stay. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. Is that another one from Gavin's book? Thomas Jefferson. It's like me being Gavin. Now, at first, some people were like, oh, you shouldn't do this, it's creepy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that was me, and I still think that. But if this crazy Gavin adventure's taught me anything, it's that dreams do come true. You just gotta know the right people and have the keys to their flat. Trust me, I can get him there. He listens to me. Plus, he's really fucking gullible. Look, just get the rest of the band there and leave Bryn to me, OK? Uh, excuse me, sir. Can't you see I'm on the fucking phone? My God. Where are we, Miss Burrito? I mean, did you really have to cover my eyes the whole way here? Well, I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Plus, we're here now, so... Ta-da! What's all this? It's your old band. They're gigging tonight, and guess what? So are you. What? Oh, I'm out of the band. I mean, I'm going to Bible college. That's why I wanted to give you a final show, as a leaving present. It would really mean a lot to me. Plus, I already called the guys and said he would definitely hear you. The prodigal dude returns! Paxton! <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Bro, I'm oh. so buzzed you're playing tonight. That is not just the PCP talking. I'm gonna go tell Beast to get your gear ready. I'm not sure this is a good idea. But you always say how much you miss the band. Well, I guess it could be good fun to do a real gig again. You know, one that ends with actual applause instead of a quiet prayer. So you'll do it, then? All right, yeah, go on. But make sure you keep me in line, all right? I don't want things getting out of hand. Bryn, I'm your girlfriend. You can trust me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your phone. I stole it while you were sleeping so I could get Paxton's number. I am so excited! I'll raise you all my chips and this lamp. Gavin Big Falls. OK. All in. Oh, shit. Sorry, mate. Don't worry about it. This is Gavin's pad. And Gavin says you guys can spill whatever the fuck you like. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm Gavin Mulcahy. Who are you? I'm Gavin's girlfriend. <sighs> Listen, guys. Gotta have a chat with your ball and chain. Uh-oh. We've all been there, mate. Say no more. Go easy on him, love you. Yeah, don't move. I'm calling the police. No, no, don't. Gavin knows about this. Well, not all of it, but I live upstairs and he just asked me to take care of his fish. Oh, those fucking fish. He is weirdly into them, isn't he? Look, mate, I don't know what your deal is and I don't really care. I just want to pick up the rest of my stuff and then I never want to see Gavin or anyone who's dressed like Gavin ever again. Oh, that is a relief. I do not want to go back to prison. Shit. You opened his calendar 25. That's Timothy Dalton's favourite scotch. He was saving that until he made partner. Fuck. I didn't realise that was Dalton's scotch. Screw him. Serves him right for messing me around for the last four years. Cheers. Uh, whatever your name is. Gavin. No. Dan. Sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> Cheers, Beast. Brit, you were amazing. Like a mix between the young Mick Jagger and the current Mick Jagger. It was a fucking blast. Whoa, whoa, I thought you were off the booze. Well, I just want you know, settle the system, I'll be buzzing all night. Brush, that was electric. <laughs>
Serious, pal. The crowd were loving it. They were literally jizzing out their ears. Dude, you've got to come back. We're not the same without you. Don't tell me you didn't feel the magic. Man, I have to admit, I haven't felt that good in months, but it's too late. I'm moving to Inverness. Oh, fuck Inverness. Maybe God wants you to stay here. What do you mean? Well, he works in mysterious ways. There's a chance that when I took your phone and set this all up behind your back, he was moving through me. I suppose I could put off going to Bible college maybe for a bit. Yes! Definitely! God is always going to be there. That's basically his catchphrase. You've got great mates, a hot band, and an awesome girlfriend slash manager. We can talk about that later. What do you say, mate? I say... Fuck Inverness! Yes! yes. <laughs> Better luck next time, big guy. I get all doled up. And what's the surprise? A trip to Paris? A romantic dinner? No. A Silverstone driving experience. No, for your anniversary. And on the last lap, he ran me off the track. Said, you snooze, you lose. Ugh, who'd have thought a guy who owns the official 007 aftershave could be a dick? Well, I'm the idiot for wasting four years of my life with him. Amanda, you are not an idiot. Gavin's the idiot. And I should know. I spent this last week living as Gavin, sleeping as Gavin, using Gavin's sweet Sonic Care toothbrush, and it's been wicked. But I don't want to be a guy who could treat someone like you so badly. Oh, thanks, Dan. You're a nice guy. Glad I didn't call the police. Me too. I'm actually the one that got the band back together. I'm sort of like a reverse Yoko. Yo, Paxton, have you seen Bryn? He told me to look after him. Uh, he's fine. He's just backstage with a couple of chicks. <laughs> well, you see, that's the great thing about it. What's going on, Bryn? Hannah! Uh, this is Valerie and Jojo. I'm your rowdy beast. Yeah, say hi, beast. Listen, can I have a word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, save some of that for me. Hi. What's the deal with Mary Kate and Ashley? Oh, they saw the gig and asked if I wanted to do some coke with them. I hate saying no to fans. Plus, I did a bit too much skag with Paxton earlier, so I needed something to pick me up a bit. You're doing heroin again? What about all that God stuff? Ah, oh, it's like you said. I can just ask for forgiveness when I'm coming down. OK, but, you know, maybe we've had enough for tonight. We can go home. It's the final episode of Stick Ninja. Oh, I'm gonna hang around. I'll be honest with you, I think that show is shit. What? Bryn, the power of Christ compels you to come home with me. Listen, Anna, we've had a great run, but I'm in a band now. Thanks to me, Reverse Yoko. And I'm grateful. I really am. It's just, obviously, I've got a lot more options now. I mean, you're like a Christian age, but a band six. You know what I mean? Fine. Stay here with your groupies. And I hope all of that coke was cut with rat poison. Oh, and Beast, Bryn shagged your wife in Carlisle. Hey, Rob. Show about poker night. Guess what? Me and that woman totally had sex. Which means, why do I sound surprised? Dan, what are you doing here? Gavin, you're back early. No, I'm not. Shit, it's been ten days already. Time flies, right? Why are you wearing my robe? What have you done to the place? I can help you tidy up. Is that my calendar 25? It's a 500 pound bottle of whiskey. You drank all of it? It's not just me. Shower spray. Oh. Amanda? Yeah? What's going on? Oh, me and your little doppelganger had sex. Not in your bed. Just over there. And over there. And a little bit in the kitchen. What the fuck? I know this looks bad, but bear in mind, your fish are doing great. Get the fuck out of my flat. Yeah, fair enough. Amanda, it's been nice to meet you. I just suppose that maybe you want to meet up again. Get out! Hey, Anna, where's the Brinster? Oh, uh, hospital. His roadie dump tackled him and broke his collarbone. Shit. Oh, no, it's fine. We broke up. Hey, you'll get over it. I believe it was Albert Camus who once said, Blessed are the hearts that something, something. Is that meant to be a quotation? Yeah, I dropped the book in the jacuzzi. Oh, yeah. Why, well, you at Gavin's? The jig's up. Real Gavin came back. It was pretty peeled. <sighs> so what are you up to now? Uh, I thought maybe I'd go and watch the last episode of Stick Ninja. Are you in? Yeah, sounds cool. Or, if you don't mind waiting, I did make a copy of Gavin's key. We could sneak in while he's at work, watch it on the plasma. What do you think? I think maybe that's the best idea anyone has ever had. I can't wait to watch those corpses in high def. 